Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. All right, Ace of Wands energy. So some form of like Ace, somebody wants to spark something with you or wants a redo, okay? This could just be to somebody getting a creative idea, feeling some form of spark or making some children. I don't know. There's something on the table about children here. Someone here wants to make an offer or a proposal, maybe a commitment. Somebody might even want to have a baby. <laughs> the energy has never come out like this, like this before. What y'all got going on tonight? Okay, so uh, you making a baby tonight? Be careful. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Airs. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and this Ace of Wands energy is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, somebody here wants to communicate the truth. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is this got juicy. Somebody is trying to trap you with a baby. Be careful. Protect yourself. Yo, Spirit said you need to know about this. Interesting. So can this, this person can't let you go? What is going on? The strength card, the sun card. Do you want this baby? Leo energy. Differences. So you and this person are not really on the same page. Mm -mm. Look at this. <laughs> Fighting it. The more I the the more the harder I try to resist you the weaker I seem to be with this Ace of um, Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Children card, the Entrapment card on the table, offer commitment. If you're, listen, if you're going out for drinks with somebody and getting knocked up, or this person's going to try to take you out for drinks and get you knocked up, just, this, this person is just, and Spirit says, trust your intuition, be careful when this person comes back. They want you back. <laughs> You, you, you practice forgiveness, but Spirit says if this person comes towards you and asks you for your forgiveness, you know, I want to talk. Let's talk it out. <laughs> Let's go have some drinks. Yeah, okay. Y'all going to have some drinks, all right. You one too many. It's two right here. Some flowers. A little bit of romance, a spark. I mean, it might be good. I don't know. This is crazy. Spirit says you need to know about this. Let's see. What's going on with this person? It's going to be, I feel like it's going to be hard for you to hold back from this person. So be careful <clears throat> for those of you who do not want a child. Okay. <clears throat> so in the past, uh, you guys, this person could have been... <laughs> Your intellect arouses me. I cannot make this up. In the past, it seems like to me that your person was a little wishy-washy in and out, not very committal. It seems like to me this person wants to come towards you. They know that they want you, but this person doesn't actually have a plan other than getting you pregnant. <clears throat> or they want you want to have your baby, you know, male or female. <clears throat> oh, Lord, for some of y'all, this person is with somebody else. It says, I am in a committed relationship. You didn't see my tears. So this person is really messed up about you. Yeah, and again, more energy of I want you back. <clears throat> If this person, if this isn't this energy of this person wanting, um, trying to have a baby with you, your person is with somebody else and they just got trapped or they just got somebody pregnant, but they want you back. <clears throat> make it make sense. I don't, y'all play too much. <clears throat> Listen, this person, this energy is strong tonight. Dang, let me, I find you attractive. I know y'all heard that. That was a piece of paper falling down. <clears throat> that was taped to a monitor. I'm just cleansing this energy with some Palo Santos because honey, I can feel it. 
It's a lot. You broke my heart. So this person feels like you broke their heart. You didn't see them cry. They feel like you did it. This person is extremely attracted to you. They admire you very, very much. I mean, I know they admire you uh, physically. Yeah, this person's actually in some pain, you guys. Three of Swords energy. They're not over you. It says, I compare others to you. So this, they're definitely comparing you to this third party. For those of you that this person has somebody else that they're, that they're committed to. Bottom of the deck is, I'm not over you. <laughs> So that's what the energy is at 1029 at night. <clears throat> Somebody's birthday could be on the 29th of October. Ah! Show me how this person's feeling. Let's pull some tarot. Listen, look at this. This person is obsessed with you. Capricorn energy, the devil. <laughs> this is this is a funny reading. <clears throat> oh, look at this person is somebody's mad at you. Five of Wands. This person's upset with you, or they're going through experiencing some conflict right now. King of Swords in reverse. Ew. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Somebody is, uh, I don't like this energy. This person is irrational, dishonest. Ew. Somebody likes to really have their way. I don't like this energy. What is going on? Show me how this person is feeling. Why am I, why is my deck all in reverse? This empress in reverse, okay? I guess we're going to roll with it. So maybe, the, I don't know who these people are and what's going on, but there's an empress in reverse, a king of swords in reverse, a five of, a five of wands, and a devil card. Here's the empress in reverse. And I know you're not showing up as the empress in reverse. I know, you, male or female, I know you are not. This is, this is spirit telling us about what's going on with this person that they're committed to. Could be a Gemini, Libra, an Aquarius, or Taurus here, or Capricorn energy. Whoever this emphasis is in reverse is not a good person. This person is very insecure. This person is not going to go anywhere with, with their person, with your person. Like, they're not going to grow being with this emphasis in reverse. <clears throat> this emphasis in reverse could be the one that's pregnant. <laughs> Uh, but the, but your person wants you back. They're heartbroken about you. But they're over here dealing with this other be. be the, well, since my cards are in reverse, six of swords. We're just gonna roll with it. Six of swords came out in reverse, but this person wants to come back to you. This person is spinning the block, making a U turn, circling back. Child, this person is running away from their problems. This person's trying to run away from their problems and then come straight to you. Mm-mm. Somebody's stuck in the past or this is this person returning back to you. All right, show me what else here for this person. Definitely got some drama. The, the hangman in reverse. Okay, that's good. Two of Pentacles in reverse, so somebody's making a decision to drop something or someone. Hmm. Or somebody's stalling, dropping a decision. Uh oh, hold on. <sighs> somebody's coming out of regret, too. This five of. Um, this Five of Cups came out in reverse, and this Nine of Pentacles came out upright on the floor. This person is moving on. They're trying to find their peace. They're trying to come out of whatever, trying to see the brighter side of something here. It's almost like somebody has to be single with the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Cups in reverse. It's almost like somebody's realizing, like, I might have to be single. I don't know. Mm. Somebody's trying to come out of regret. What else here? This is a weird ass reading. <clears throat> Something here was revealed. Some some shit just came out of the closet. The moon and the sun in reverse. This is uh, Leo energy, Cancer energy, and Pisces energy is here too, with the hangman in reverse and the sun card. But yeah, something was revealed here. Ew! Some secrets came out. 
some secrets came out. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Whatever the secret was that came out, this contract or this commitment is like null and void. Somebody may have made a bad investment here. Somebody's money could be a little fucked up. <clears throat> Somebody feels like uh, they missed a chance with you. <clears throat> Wait. The world. They're ending something, though. Something just ended. Or it's about to. <laughs> the world card is energy of completion. Ending a karmic cycle. Okay. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Show me what else with this person. Seven of Wands. In reverse with the King of Pentacles in reverse. There is a lot of greed here. I don't I don't know what the hell is going. Somebody made some poor financial decisions. Whoever this King of Pentacles is towards Virgo Capricorn, the Seven of Wands is just like somebody's just surrendering to the fact that they just made a fucked up decision or like there's some money problems or this thing has to end or now somebody has to be free. So, you know, just be careful if this person comes back towards you. Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Libra energy. Just be careful if this person comes back towards you. They're not. Yeah, they are coming back towards you. Very quickly, Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands. To tell you about this heartbreak. Please, please, please talk to me. I need your help. Nine of Cups energy. This person is coming. Eight of Wands. Nine of Swords. To either tell you about this heartbreak. Or this person is coming towards you. To help them heal their, their heart. Because they're dealing with their karma. Because they're dealing with their karma. <clears throat> Don't get pregnant. Don't get this person pregnant. Leo energy. Strong Leo energy here. Look at this. Divine feminine. So some of y'all are dealing with a Leo who's the divine. You could be the divine feminine here. Um, somebody here is a show off though. But somebody here I feel like is very jealous and possessive though. I, I was used to being the center of focus of, I was used to being the central focus of everyone's attention, but your mag, your magnetism outweighed mine and I was insecure about that. So somebody feels like the divine feminine gets too much attention. Divine feminine. And then we have this energy, Leo energy here. Yeah, compassionate. But see, you're a compassionate, loving, soft, understanding, insightful, empathic person. You have a healing, nurturing um, feeling about you. Male or female doesn't matter. Like, you're the person where things grow. This card literally says creation and growth. Divine feminine. Ain't shit growing over here with the empress in reverse. <laughs> yeah. Whoever they got pregnant or I don't Libra energy just popped out. All right. <laughs> I know I acted as if I couldn't make up my mind about our relationship, but it was really because I was scared, scared of hurting you and hurting me and you hurting me. Libra energy. Charming Casanova. Oh, I'm sorry. Charismatic Casanova. Fear of commitment of being hurt. Fear of being hurt. Emotional avoidant detachment style. Fond of many lovers and has many love affairs. I don't understand our connection and the way I feel when I'm with you. I'm not ready for whatever this is. I can't handle this right now. I'd rather not think about it. <clears throat> Somebody's trying to desensitize their feelings right now. Somebody could be really de extremely depressed that they really basically got themselves in this fucked up position because desensitized just popped out. Somebody's definitely popping some pills or doing something or trying to do whatever they can to numb or suppress their feelings. It could be with drugs, alcohol, I don't know, sex, any sort of addictive behavior. We did see the devil here. Yeah, see, this person is, oh shit, twin flame energy just popped out. <laughs> I was getting ready to tell y'all, I didn't even pay attention to the fact that this card said twin flame, rolling my eyes. Um... <laughs> Uh, you know, it is what it is. But I was going to say this person is wearing a mask or like this person has two sides to them. You could be dealing with a Gemini. 
It says purpose to live separately, yearning less. Oh, um, purpose is to live separately, learning lessons, possible reunion after becoming stronger and awakened, single soul spirit in half, single soul split in half before reincarnating into two separate bodies. I recognize our connection was intense and it still burns my soul. It's a connection that can never be broken, but it is one that must be balanced in order to move forward together. That's that Libra energy. I mean, but that Libra energy came out in reverse, so like there is no balance. <laughs> what kind of balance is there going to be in this situation, you guys? Like... There's obviously some drama and some karma going on here. Either something that involves children or someone is pregnant or even with this person. Somebody definitely made some really awful decisions. There's a lot of like back and forth. <clears throat> this person hasn't gotten over you. I feel like low-key this situation is about to end because some secrets or something came out. The only person that showed up upright here was the Nine of Pentacles energy and this Divine Feminine. <clears throat> You know, yeah, as far as people is concerned, child, just be careful, you know, of the energy your person is in, trust your intuition, you know, just, you know, you cannot fix people, okay, don't be Captain save -a you know what I mean, like, you have free will, you're grown, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just telling you the energy that this person is in, <clears throat> You're like in this Empress Divine Feminine Energy upright with the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. That's going to be your reading. Zodiac signs we saw here is Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, <clears throat> Leo, strong Leo, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Pisces, <clears throat> Cancer, yeah, and Strong Leo. That is your reading. All right, love y'all. Good night.